Hey guys, it's Jordan from Alter Element Games and welcome again. I'm doing uh, a news report, not really report, but my thoughts on EVO 2016's game lineup that came out yesterday with Mike Ross and the cr uh, creators of EVO, the people who are in charge. So let's look at this lineup real quick because I have it on the screen over here. We have Street Fighter V, Super Smash Bros. Melee, you knew these games were coming. Smash 4 is coming out since Bayonetta and Corrin are still uh, being released around next month, so that's good. Those three games are really good. Uh, Guilty Gear XR Revelator, uh, that's kind of like a niche game that not a lot of people play, but it's still a factor since it's coming out and being released out here in uh, America. Uh, I don't know when that releases. I think it's already been released. I don't know the, too much details on Guilty Gear, even though I do love the series. Um, Killer Instinct, that's a big surprise for me because uh, even though last year's tournament for Killer Instinct at EVO was really awesome with Rico Suave winning the whole thing, uh, I don't think there's not much of a following other than like Maximilian Dude and some other guys, but I'm glad this game is back because Season 3 is coming out and this game is pretty legit, man. It's pretty fun. Uh, more characters. Uh, I can't wait to see like who else is coming out for Killer Instinct. Also, another game that's having post-release is uh, Mortal Kombat X. Now, we have new characters with Triborg, uh, Leatherface, Alien, and Bo Raichu. And um, that's that's going to be sick, man. Uh, those characters, except for Bo Raichu, I think he's just like a joke character. We all knew he was a joke character. Uh, we want Noob Saibot. What the fuck is Noob, Noob Saibot, dude? What? Come on, man. Well... You know, they kind of snuck in a little, uh, a little treat for us for like a Sub-Zero uh, Cyborg. So now, instead of three, he has four, but everybody pretty much all knew that. But he has four modes now. So can we get a new Cyborg as a fifth, please, for Triborg? Which is kind of a weird name for a character with four variations. Okay, whatever. But um, that, that's pretty good. And the new net code for Mortal Kombat X uh, is out for PS4 and Xbox One and they're testing that now and I've hear I'm hearing a lot of positive reviews on the net code so that's really awesome. The rollback net code that's gonna be a vast improvement over the bullshit that they have from Mortal Kombat X because uh oh god forbid playing online right now with uh, basic Mortal Kombat X that's that's the worst. That and injustice fucking terrible. Don't even try. Just wait for this <laughs> wait for the rollback GGPO whatever the net code is wait for that shit to come out officially for Mortal Kombat X then jump on the sticks that's when you do it because it, it's it plays well I've seen a lot of streams that have that and it plays pretty good uh, we have Marvel vs Capcom 3 because we knew that was coming back uh, one hit death you know you, you sit down and you watch you, you watch some player get his ass with for like a full three minutes and all three of his characters die in like an instant you know, but that's the fun of it, man. It's like watching a movie, man. It's like watching somebody get their ass whooped in, what, 30 frames per second? <laughs> in movie format. So, yeah, that you knew that game was coming back. Everybody loves Marvel. Marvel, baby. And uh, Tekken 7 Faded Retribution. Now, this one's going to be really good because Akuma is in the game. And people love Akuma. And he's in a Tekken game. And now people are going to stop... <laughs> they're gonna start actually they're gonna start sidestepping the fuck out of Akuma and start using sidesteps as an actual technique in the game please thank you god I've been doing this shit since Kenpachi not Kenpachi uh Jimpachi from Tekken 5 with this little stomach blast shit that you had to like sidestep out of the way and then eat his ass up mm -hmm, fuck him so that, that's pretty good and the biggest surprise that I'm still confused about is Pokemon Tournament. Pokemon Tournament, man, I don't think that's gonna be, uh, you know, have really a competitive scene, you know? It's only out in Japan right now. I'm not understanding what's going on. Are we gonna have like an early release here so we can like step up our game? Because we, here in North America, we can barely, you know, we can barely keep up with, you know, Koreans and Japanese in Street Fighter. What the fuck you think is gonna happen to Pokemon Tournament? Like, are you serious, man? That's that's insane. You know, and they have the advantage. Uh, I think Nintendo uh, is starting to believe in Evo now, so now they're just like, yo, man, 
you put this game out over here in America, you know, for your tournament, give it some shine, and then, you know, when that release comes out, it can have some hype with it, so the sales can be even more, you know, but that's another thing, because Nintendo needs to do more for its systems, man. We need more Wii U games. What the fuck is going on? There's a lot of things I need to talk about for Wii U, but that's not today. We're talking about Evo Sing. So yeah, Pokin Tournament, I don't think it's going to be that competitive, but it might have a chance, man. You know, you never know. I could be digging in some cheeks with Blaziken. So that, that could be pretty good, right? That could be really good. And speaking of Tekken 7, we had a release of Nina Williams. Mm-hmm. That woman is so fine, great character, good to see her back. Hopefully her sister comes back in the game along with her. But here's my question, what is with the wedding dress? I don't, I don't understand that. What's with the wedding dress? That's so weird, man. <laughs> but it's awesome because she has like this leg strap with her gun on it and, you know, certain accessories that still shows her as an assassin. I'm thinking they've taken like the ending from the previous Tekken and you know, that, I think that might be an alternate, but if it's if it's basic, you know, uh, Nina outfit, yo, she looks good. That's all I gotta say. She looks good, she looks great. It's kind of confusing that they still have it on there. Maybe it's a joke or something like that, or you know, I, I don't know what it is. I think it's cool and funny at the same time. And she's still voiced by Major from Ghost in the Shell. So props to that. I still have, hold on, wait a second. I still have Death by Degrees. Death by Degrees, son. Are you kidding me, bruh? Yo, she was firing this game and she's about to be firing Tekken 7. So I'm definitely using her with King and maybe Shaheen and Jin. Definitely Jin, because I love fighters with like uh, basic mortal, uh, not uh, martial arts, but like karate and martial arts, like standard defensive martial arts, because Jin. Jin gets it, and King, King's the man, but glad to see Nina into the, uh, Tekken 7, it's really good to see her, and um, these are my thoughts, man, I really like what I'm seeing here, kind of confused on Pokken, like I said before, but uh, what do you guys think, comment below, let me know, and um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video, can't believe I still have this game, what the fuck, <laughs> alright guys, I'll see you later, peace. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.